Welcome to our tutorial on how to install and use OpenMPI for parallel computing. In today's world, desktops and laptops come equipped with multiple processors, making it possible to solve complex problems by running them concurrently or in parallel. OpenMPI is a powerful technology that allows us to do just that. Let's begin by checking whether OpenMPI is installed on your system. OpenMPI is available, but it is not installed, so we need to install it. Check the binary files of OpenMPI and their path information. Compilation commands are missing, we need to install the OpenP develop package. We are also installing the development package. Now it is okay. Sometime this small package is also very useful. Run the following command to set up the OpenMPI environment. The path environment variable can also be set up permanently using the .bashrk file. Now, let's create a simple Hello World program with an OpenMPI flavor and run it in parallel. Here's our basic MPI program. It's a Hello World program with the magic of OpenMPI. This code is written in C and uses the message passing interface, MPI, library for parallel programming. It's a simple MPI program that demonstrates the basic structure of a parallel program that runs on multiple processes. Let me explain it. This code initializes an MPI environment, identifies the rank and size of the current process, prints this information, and then finalizes the MPI environment. This is a basic MPI Hello World program that demonstrates how to get started with parallel processing using MPI. Each process can run independently and communicate with others using MPI functions. Compile the program using the MPIC compiler command. Your a.out file is ready to go. Now, let's run a.out in OpenMPI style. We'll use the mpyron command with the end directive to specify the number of processors to be used. Open the system monitor to view the ongoing processes, etc. You can see multiple instances of the program, a.out, running concurrently. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next video. Don't forget to check out our other videos, and follow us on social media for the latest updates. Goodbye.